started taking birth control pills and back then you could pick up weight taking them and that's what happened to me hey y'all welcome to my channel now that was a clip from um janet now if you saw the clip that means youtube let it go through if not you already know what it is the reason why i say that is because for those of you that's just joining my channel and not familiar with youtube regulations and stuff um sometimes they be bugging sometimes they um will shut down certain um content for um copyright issues so that's why i always say that in the beginning of my videos okay so this is the story of janet jackson and that the barge boy in her a and &E documentary pop icon miss jackson if you're nasty says her first husband, James DeBarge, left her in a hotel room for three hours right after they were married. Janet discussed her marriage to James DeBarge in her a and &E docuseries. The two began dating in the early 1980s when she was 16 and James was in his late teens. She said that with both of their families being in the music industry was a connecting point between her and him, who she described as a nice guy. The young lovebirds would sneak around to see each other as much as possible. It wasn't an easy task for them to do this, being that Janet was overprotected by her mama and daddy. I don't know why anyone would trust me, James joked during his appearance in the docuseries, but he described their history as a young love story. He just had to be with her all the time. He thinks they were both in love with each other that just needed to block everyone else out. In the series, Janet finally addressed a decades-long rumor that she had a secret child by James. I could never keep a child away from him. She said, how could I keep a child from their father? I could never do that. That's not right. James and Janet eloped in 1984 with Janet getting their blessings from her sister Latoya. But any wedded bliss the couple shared turned out to be short-lived. After they eloped to Grand Rapids, Michigan, where they were married by James's the barge uncle, she even remembered putting a ring on her finger and purposely putting it on the wrong finger. I don't know, maybe it's this person in me that wants to help people, she recalled. Subconsciously, when it comes to relationships, somehow she's attracted to people that use drugs. There are a lot of nights that she would go searching the streets looking for him. Eight o'clock in the morning, four in the morning, Janet stated. James was convicted decades later in 2011 of possession of a controlled substance. In 2014, he was apprehended again on suspicion of possessing methamphetamine. She would go on to say that she remembered times when she found pills and would take them and flush them down the toilet and her and James would be rolling around on the floor fighting for them. That isn't a life for anyone. She cared so much for him and saw the good in him as well and she wanted that to overpower the ugliness that James faced because she knew that he needed help but she wasn't the help that he needed. Okay y'all, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.